Oswide Bank has recently rebranded and has renewed its focus on managing deposits and mortgages. I'm John Treadgold and joining me today at the ASX Investor Series is the company's Managing Director, Martin Barrett. Martin, welcome to FNN. Thank you very much, John. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, now, Oswide Bank has gone through a major transformation this year with a name change. What was behind the shift and where does Oswide operate? Oswide used to be Wide Bay Australia. Wide Bay Australia used to be Australia's only listed building society. We made a decision some two years ago when I came into the organisation that it would be a good step for the organisation to take to move from building society to bank because banks are better recognised in the Australian financial landscape and they're considered to be safer perhaps than building societies. So we made that bold decision to actually uh, make that conversion with the assistance of APRA, the regulator, uh, got that banking licence. Following that, um, uh, of course, we've been doing some work in relation to uh, changing the brand. And the reason we thought that changing the brand would be appropriate for us is we are actually a national business. Uh, and the brand that we have uh, was very regional named. So uh, Converge to Oswide uh, was a, uh, a step for us which we felt was uh, very appropriate and would be a positive step for us as we continue to grow our business nationally. Okay, it's a great move. And so what is your footprint in terms of branches and, and the size of your loan book? Yeah. So we have some 32 branches that stretch uh, across Queensland. But of course the branch network is only one part of our distribution. Our distribution also extends to the work that we do with brokers, the major aggregators uh, in Australia, uh, which gives us home loan flows from around Australia, uh, as well as our digital presence. Uh, and of course in this day and age, digital uh, technology uh, continues to be a major focus for us. Uh, and uh, you know, it extends uh, obviously that distribution platform in the virtual world, if you like. You know, the uh, website is your new front door. Very good. And looking at financials, what were the highlights of the first half? Yeah, we've been on a journey over the last two years as we've been modernising the organisation. Uh, as some of the legacy issues of the past that worked for us in the past, we've been uh, unravelling those uh, and ensuring that uh, we're on a strong platform for growth for the, uh, for the future. But when I look to some of the success factors uh, over the course of uh, the last six months, the last year, we've got growth occurring back into the chief entity. Our loan book uh, has grown by nearly 5%, which is, uh, which is positive. Uh, we've seen our um, dividend increase. Uh, we've seen our net interest margin uh, improve by seven basis points. Uh, our loan quality has improved. Uh, our arrears have been coming down, uh, which is great. Uh, and we've uh, taken some very, very positive steps, uh, we believe, in terms of uh, building a platform for the organisation that, uh, as I said before, uh, extends well for growth. Mm. Good progress. And we know the mortgage market has been growing rapidly on the back of investor demand for property. Uh, what percentage of your loan book is made up of mortgages um, and how, how much has this changed over the last 18 months? Yeah, the mortgage market is a very ferocious market at the moment, you know, a significant amount of competition. Uh, but we have been uh, competing well and competing strongly uh, and our approval levels, um, which is an indication of our growth, continue to improve. Despite the fact that the Queensland market's not quite as strong as, say, New South Wales or uh, Victoria, but still that's growing, growing well. Our loan book, our home loan book, represents around about 98% of all our lending today, which is obviously off the back of the traditional building society model. But the future of the organisation looks a little different. Um, as we look to diversify, we've introduced personal loans and we introduced those some 12 months ago and we expect that we will be uh, putting forward some very strong products and growing strongly in the PL space over the course of uh, the time ahead, as well as business banking. We established a business banking platform uh, a year and a half ago uh, and we're looking to make some inroads uh, providing services and products to that particular market as well. Loan book in total um, is around about $2.4 billion. Very good. Uh, and Oswide Bank has grown from being a, a local lender to having a national presence. How do you balance the, the small bank appeal with the need to grow and scale? Yeah, a really good question because one of our advantages, we believe, is the way that we actually connect to our customers. Uh, our ability to provide uh, a service level that we believe um, is much stronger, much better, treating people as people rather than numbers uh, in, in our particular business. We don't have uh, offshore call centres. You know, we keep everything uh, local. 
uh, in terms of uh, our business and we uh, pride ourselves in that service delivery. So keeping that service delivery um, really sacrosanct, putting the customer at the heart of everything we do, if you like, um, remains absolutely key to us. Um, but then growing, extending our head and extending our tail, as we call it, you know, growing uh, further into North Queensland and extending our business and growing further into New South Wales and the rest of Australia are, uh, are absolute ambitions for us. And looking further, what's that on the horizon? or as wide bank that investors should uh, keep an eye on? Yeah, we've got a lot of things. Um, we've uh, just completed our whole operating system upgrade, uh, which is substantial for us, gives us significant capability in terms of understanding our customers better. Uh, we have a whole new lending system that uh, goes live in the next month, which will improve the efficiency of our lending uh, platform uh, enormously. Um, we have uh, online uh, home loans, online personal loans, online transaction account and term deposit opening. Uh, again, within the next two months, that capability will be out there, so we'll be truly digital in terms of that particular um, space. We have an old legacy business called uh, Mortgage Risk Management, an old LMI business. Um, we are close to closing that down. That will actually mean that a substantial amount of capital will come back onto our balance sheet. We have a substantial um, uh, capital position now, very strong. Um, will be even stronger, uh, we believe, in the course of the next couple of months as that capital uh, comes back. Um, and, of course, we have um, momentum happening in terms of our lending right now. You know, uh, that our lending flows are up uh, and we're uh, building ahead of steam. So we're, we're, we're pretty confident that uh, the story for investors uh, going forward will be a positive one. A lot to look forward to. Martin, thank you for joining us on FNN. Yeah, thank you very much, John.